Welcome back to the channel. My name is Patrick. Appreciate all the support on my last video. Thank you guys. I just thank you all the prayers, encouragement, support. You guys are awesome. You know, I wasn't even planning on doing a video today, and I was reading the book of Esther, um, which has kind of been our group study, and found a lot of neat nuggets in there, and I just happened to wake up today and found something else. And I normally don't even look at this type of stuff, but I was kind of like, felt like I was led to it, and I think it's incredible. So let's get into it. So go here to screenshots. There we go. So let's go to Revelation 12.1. Everyone knows this by, by now. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. All right, crown is the key word here. And we know this happened in September uh, 23rd, 2017. So I looked up the word crown. In Greek, it's Strong's 4735 Stephanos. And the key word here is a royal crown. You can see that where it's in um, parentheses, a royal crown. All right, a crown of victory. That's also good for us, too, because we're going to get victory over this fleshly body. All right, so now I went to Esther, where we've been doing our study. So Esther was taken unto King Ahasuerus into his house royal in the 10th month, and I'm going to get to the calendar here in one second, which is the month to Beth in the seventh year of his reign. All right. And the king loved Esther above all the women, and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins. All right, another key word there. So that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. What did I just show you? The Revelation 12 crown is a royal crown. And I just show in Esther that he placed the royal crown above her, that she obtained grace over all the virgins and, and instead of Vashti, who refused to come when he called. All right, so maybe that's a typology of those who are watching and those who are not. But royal crown. So let's go here. I just happened to look this up. So here's Virgo, the virgin, and look what's on top of her head. I didn't even know, and by the way, this is on January 11th. I went a day ahead. I didn't even know there was an asteroid. If someone else has done a video on this, I have not seen it. That's God's honest truth. I only watch about channels I can count on one hand. There's probably about five channels I really keep tabs on. I just happened to see this. So Esther, an asteroid named Esther, is upon the virgin's head. And Esther received the royal crown. So did the virgin literally just get crowned? That's amazing. I seen this and I was like, what are the odds, especially right by January 11th? And of course, the 111, uh, you can see here, in 2001, the asteroid was detected by radar from the, oh, I can't even say this, Arecibo Observatory at a distance of 1.11 AU. All right, so I thought that was interesting. So let's get into the timeline here. Let's see. Uh, wrong one. So we knew there was a solar eclipse August 21 of 2017, right? And just about seven years, not quite, but just about seven years later on April 8th, we're going to have the one that intersects that at the Madrid fault line in Little Egypt, Illinois. Well, the distance between that and the Revelation 12 sign was 33 days. All right. So let's go here. Well, I needed a start date. So now I went to Esther 1.1. Now it came to pass in the days of Ahusuerus. This is Ahusuerus. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name. Ahasuerus. There it is. Ahasuerus. All right. Which reigned from India even unto Ethiopia over 107 and 20 provinces. So that would be 127 or... 12 7. Remember, that was our original 924 date in the book of Haggai. Now, it was technically the eighth because, and that was the first day of Hanukkah, by the way. And it was technically the eighth, you know, because of sunset. And same thing with the tenth. Is it technically the tenth while it's still, you know, it's going to be the eleventh in Jerusalem? The way I look at these times is I'll let 
I'll let all of today play out, and I'm going to let all of tomorrow play out, okay? Because we don't know if the calendar is 100% right anyways. So when I look at high watch dates, I do, you know, today's the 10th. So I'm going to do all day today, wake up tomorrow, and then I'm, I'm going to look all the way through tonight until I go to bed. If nothing happens, then it is what it is, but I'm going to give each high watch date their, their due. So I went from December 8th. All right, remember that was like the 127 provinces, but it technically started that evening until the evening. You know, tonight it's going to be the 11th, and Jerusalem is exactly 33 days, just like the 33 days between the total solar eclipse and the Revelation 12 sign. Was that trying to tell us something on the 11th? I believe that it was. And just look at the royal crown that was given to Esther. It, we now have Esther, the asteroid on top of the virgin Virgo's head, placing the royal crown upon her head. Does that mean the bride is about ready to be kings and priests? I really hope so. I thought I had the calendar here too. Now when I looked up what Esther means in Hebrew, it means star, to hide, to cover, or myrtle, like a myrtle tree. And I thought that was interesting because in Zechariah, I believe it was chapter 1, verse 7, that was the last time stamp of 1124 that um, the angel of the Lord was among the myrtle trees right on the, on the red horse. So I thought that was kind of neat. And then I could have swore I had the calendar. Is this it? Well, that's the one from video yesterday. Sorry, guys, but I can show you. Is this it? I don't think I have it. Sorry, guys, but... We are still in the 10th month, so let's go there. Let's see. Let's see. I know I got it here. Sorry. Here we go. So Esther was taken to King Ahasuerus into his house royal in the 10th month, which is the month to Beth in the seventh year of his reign. I believe today is the last day of the 10th month. Now, I'm going all the way through tomorrow because there could be a one-day difference in the calendars. So I'm not going to throw out this whole study based on that. So all day today, all day tomorrow, this happened that uh, Queen Esther was crowned with the royal crown in the 10th month, which matches up to today and tomorrow, in my opinion. And then we have, yeah, that's the Revelation 12 sign with the royal crown. But we just have that Esther was crowned with the royal crown in the 10th month, in the 7th year. And he was in charge of 127 provinces. And I just showed you that if you go from, sorry guys, you go from what technically was December 7th until today and through tomorrow is 33 days. Just like the 33 days between the solar eclipse and the Revelation 12 sign. So I thought all of this was incredible. Sorry, I didn't have the calendar. I could have swore I took a screenshot of it. But I've been rushing around today trying to get stuff done. Let me know what you guys think. I've been watching other videos on this. I think it's amazing. I think it's definitely a high watch date. You should be excited. Um, hopefully, this is our calling home. And if not, I think maybe it could lead to something where we look back and say, yep, that was the day. That was the day when the final countdown really started. So, you know, if you have prayers, put them in the comments. I love you guys. You know, I know we're living in perilous times and a lot of us are going through a lot of difficult things. Keep the faith. Keep your eyes on Jesus. You know, stay faithful. Finish the race strong. And if I don't see you again, I'll see you in heaven.